Hey guys and welcome back to another train simulator video. Good morning driver, let's finish this service. Continuing from part one. After just having after just having made the passenger pick up at Shotton, you will complete the rest of the service to crew, making a single stop at chest start. Please depart when you're ready, okay then. Put the correct lights on. Which I believe are those ones. It's on the wipers because it's raining and let's get going. So this is a two-part scenario, we've just uh, stopped at Shotton. In part one we went from uh, Laduno to um, Shotton Station. And in part two we're going to be going from Shotton to Crew, Stopping at Chester and Crew Station. Probably the more interesting part of the route in my opinion. Chester and uh, Crew. And as we approach Crew Station we'll be able to see the APT train. Which are thousands of you commented saying that's not a fake train, it's an APT train, so at least now I know. So I appreciate the comments. But yeah, we've got like seven and a half miles to Chester and then 28 miles to crew. And we are driving a six car class 158 in the beautiful Arriva Trains Wales delivery. I do have two scenarios left for this route, which is the, I believe, Hot Hollyhead to London Euston with a class 221 and one scenario with a class 1 soundfight. So let me know if you guys want to see them on my channel. I will eventually do those scenarios, but if you want to see it straight away, then let me know. Because currently there's no uh, Steam Workshop scenarios for this route apart from one, which is pretty um, long scenario which I don't really want to do it's like 75 minutes long but I only feel like doing a 75 minute scenario at once so I know you can uh, save it mid -through way through but it doesn't really work when you're recording it got class 175 very nice very nice Probably going to Laduno, most likely. Oh, Hollyhead. I think those are the right wrong lights, actually. I can't tell which side you have to point it at basically. I don't know if it's a short side or the long side you have to point it at, so. If they are the wrong guys, I apologize. I kind of feel like they're this way. But I'm guessing they're like this. And they do look, they do, do look, look like the right lights, I think. They might be this one actually. What does that look like? Mark lights only. Mm. They look like the normal lights in my opinion, but I'll just keep them for now. And obviously you've got the tail lights at the back, which is correct. But yeah, we've got like four and a half miles left to Crook Chester. We should get our speed limit change soon, I'm guessing. And then we've got a long journey to the cruise station. And we should see some class 221s, some more class 158s and 175s. So, what I was thinking is that um, 
I've told one of my uh, subscribers to make me a train spotting scenario, like a Christmas one for Crew Station, since it's a brand new station in the game, and a lot of people are excited that Crew Station's in the game. So, essentially, it's going to be a train spotting scenario at Crew Station with a bunch of different uh, trains that run through the station, like Class 390s, 221s, Class 175s. 158s, some freight trains, some class 350s, etc. And it will be uh, like Christmas themed as well. And it will be uploaded near Christmas time, so let me know what you guys think of that. I'm sure a lot of you will be excited for that. I have already done two uh, train spotting scenarios one at Clapham Junction. I actually done two at Clapham Junction. One I did a long time ago, and I did an updated one just like last year ago. And I did have done one at East Front as well, which was done like I think six, seven months ago. So if you want to check that out, go check it out. But yeah, we are approaching Chester and we've got 50 mile an hour speed limit and then 30, so we should slow down. So let's do that. Only for the speed limit change. Thirty mile an hour speed limit, so we have to slow down even more now. But we are somewhat early, so we should be good. Go live exploring at Chester. I can assure you, there's no APT at Chester. I did one scenario earlier, and I thought we started at the crew instead of Chester. That's why I thought there was APT at Chester, but obviously there isn't. It's only at one at crew. So apologies for that. To be fair, Chester and crew kind of sound similar in my opinion, so... Anyways... Slow down to 30 miles an hour. There we go. I believe we are switching tracks. Maybe. Actually, we are t uh, turning right, that's probably why. Such a uh, speed limit to change, 30 miles an hour. Station chest actually. Kind of looks better than crew in my opinion. Or maybe chest in real life is better than crew in terms of looks. Okay, let's open the doors. This is crew. No, oh, sorry, this is Chester, not crew. Change here for our guest services to um, Rexam. Rexem General, I believe. You can go from here. That's that screenshot with a telephone box in the, in the background. Yeah, it's a really nice station. 
by a big station at crew. Chester. Okay, got 500 points, that's good. Let's get going. Next stop is crew. Platform 9. We are going going straight underneath this we are. I wonder where the line on the left side goes. I'm sure one of you will let me know in the comments below. So we got just over 20 miles through. Hopefully the speed limit will go up to like at least 90 miles an hour. I believe this train can go up to 90 if it can. graphic settings quite low so if you are wondering why it's very smooth then that's probably why and if you if the scenery doesn't look great then that's probably why because the graphic settings are quite low for me just so I can get a little bit more FPS and obviously things like this are very blurry I'm sure you can probably read some of that if I don't my settings Unfortunately, not even really read this one. Okay, we've got a 90 mile now, so we're coming up, so that's good. I don't believe it will go any higher than that on this line. It's a bit of a shame. Then again, this train can't go faster than 90 miles an hour, anyways. So. Kind of useless anyway. They're really useful for a class two to one now. Traveling from Chester to Crew at 125 miles an hour. any stations between crew and Chester. I'm guessing there isn't otherwise we would have stopped. Not just only at Chester but other stations before we got to crew. Let me quickly check. So there's Chester. I mean, that line goes to um, Helsby. It doesn't seem that to be any station between Crew and Chester, that's interesting. So the only state, if you wanted to get, go from Crew to the next station, you have to go 20 miles in the train, this is kind of interesting. There's cruise station and I think the line continues to not too sure that is. Uh where does this go? This goes to Winsford. And one of these lines go to Rugby, I believe, or Stafford. I believe it's this one down there. Yeah, this one goes to Stafford. Onto the 
West Coast Main Line Trail Valley Route between Rugby and Stafford, and it go, then it goes all the way down to Houston. It would be pretty cool to go from Rugby all the way to uh, Cruise Station at Class 350, but they have to join the routes together, which would take up a lot of time because I think it is a large distance between Crew and Stafford. And if somebody didn't want to make it, then go for it, you know? I think a lot of people will be happy. Especially me. As usual, there's a, there's a miserable day at, in London. Or I should say Wales. Maybe it always rains in Wales, that's probably why most of the snows are in the rain. Because that makes sense, right? Battle games are trying to go for uh, realism for once. Okay. Just over 15 miles left to crew now. ETA is saying that we're like 3 minutes late, but that will go down eventually as we get close to cruise station. If you are bored of me doing the North Wales Coastal over and over again then let me know what route you want me to do in terms of scenario because I do pretty much have all the London routes available so if you want me to do a scenario on the Brighton main then let me know and I do have a Steam, uh, not Steam sorry Google, uh, Google Sheets basically, spreadsheets where it shows you all the scenarios that I can play or want to play so if you just check that out then and let me know which one you want me to play then I can do that there's a link in the description if you to uh want to find it easily it is available on all my train simulator videos as well so and all my other views as well so no reason that you can't find it We actually have three two-car uh, trains, as you can see. So we got two cars there, and then we have two more cars here, and then another two cars over there, which is kind of interesting. So in theory, this could be three different trains, holding two carriages each. And the first, first two trains could go to crew. The next two could go to somewhere else, and the other two, last two can go to somewhere else as well, so... Okay, Spinium is going down to 75. So we do need to start slowing down. Ten minutes to reach crew on time. And we just go eleven miles, so we should be okay. I'm pretty much start going back up, up to speed anyway because speed is going up to 90 miles an hour now.
for some tree station now. Got Claus 2C1, very nice. And a beautiful of Virgin train delivery. Very nice indeed. Let's quickly check the map to see if any other trains are coming the other way. I don't think there are any other trains. Let's probably receive some class 158s and 221s at cruise station. And again, I don't really see any trains at cruise station on the map, so... I'm sure some will uh, spawn in, basically. Or arrive at crew as, as we arrive as well, hopefully. So good. ETA is slowly going down to A11 now, so just need that ETA to go around 30 40 seconds uh, less, and then we should be bang on time. Just under five miles left to crew. It's actually peak out now, so. We should be seeing a lot more trains than the 175 and the class 321 that we saw, in my opinion. We do have a 70 mile now, it's really coming up now, as you would expect. We're just 2 to 3 miles left to crew. I haven't encountered the red signal yet, but if we do arrive at crew early then we might encounter one just before the platform, so we do have to be careful. If you got the throttle now. We won't be going up, going faster now. Only slower, slower and slower.
Williams going down to 50 miles an hour. I'm sure it will go down to 30 and probably 20 miles an hour at least. As we will be switching tracks and all that because we're going to be terminating at cruise station. Yep, 20 miles an hour speed limit. Now we should see the APT train on the left hand side. But if you do miss it then once we stopped at our cruise station and we can check it out again. Yeah, 15 miles an hour just before cruise station and arriving at a terminus platform. Yes, it is. We are somewhat early, I think. Should be fine, I think. Still got two minutes reached there. We'll sh shortly arrive at cruise station where this train terminates. All change, please, all change. And on the left hand side, you should be able to see an. APC train, class 370. I think just after these bushes we should see it. I believe it's there, there it is. Oops, let's just wait until we pass here. There it is, just in the background. We'll check it out in a minute. There it is, very nice. We'll check it out in a minute anyway. So, platform nine to terminus platform at crew, that's something I've learned. Maybe if I ever go to crew in real life, I might go and check it out to see that if that's real. That platform line is the terminus platform. Fortune is no AI at this station, which is a bit disappointing by Duffel Games. At least add some class 175s or 158s, or at least a 221 or a class 350. I'll go right to the end of the platform. I just hope the emergency brake won't kick in. This will do. All change, all change. This is crew. Let's train to terminate here. This train terminates here. Let's go and check the APT train, guys. Should be all the way up. There it is. I don't think you can drive this train, but it would be cool if you could. It's actually a really look nice looking train, actually. I wonder where those tracks go to. Hmm. So I believe somebody said this line goes to Manchester or somewhere like that. 
Nicely done, driver. Part two complete, thank you very much. Part two was a lot more basic than part one. Got a thousand out of a thousand. But yeah, I'll end the video there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If we did, give it a like, share with friends, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.